lives in this one going as I am originally from a small town in southern Bumalanga called Paul's Rest. It's a majority Zulu speaking town, but then we also have Zulu speakers, Kwasa speakers, and yeah, it's more or less diverse, but it's more in the Zulu majority town. So I'll be graduating next week, Saturday, on the 13th, uh, with the Bachelor of Arts, majors in Anthropology and Psychology. I think what this degree means for my family is particularly to my parents. My parents were born in the 50s, so they are the generation of Bandu education, and Bandu education was very active. So around the 70s, uh, it was when it was really active. And it's when we had the Soweto uprising. So yeah, my mother was 20 then, and my dad was 23, like around my age. So. It'll be like it's a, a way of me attain a, a child of the years attaining uh, a greater amount of education and potentially even uh, improving the financial situation at home. And yeah, I actually started in my matric here in 2014, so we will always be told I must apply early apply early and all that so then I remember I applied in March 2013, 2014 yes in March so then I was it had my options and all that and roads had always been my prime option because I liked the town I had read, read up on it and just that because it was kind of small like my own hometown so I just wanted just to have the same feel not to be in a, a very cluttered place like a city so yeah, that's why I chose this university and this town. In more ways they won, they were met. They were met because I really built great social networks outside of home and um, yeah, I, I, I'd really say so. Like there hasn't been things I would say that weren't met, so some of my expectations were met. person who mostly spends time on their own so sometimes yeah I would I would regret that we I, I feel like I shut myself off of many other things that I could have explored and with my journey almost over I feel like maybe okay in terms of expectations that you mentioned earlier maybe I didn't attain a certain amount of growth if, if I may say so so yeah sacrifices I have to make um, would be not go home sometimes um, when other people would go home especially in like the shorter holidays like the one week holidays so yeah because I'm very far like home is very far so I would miss home very much and staying up late most times to finish work and not eating right at times just to keep up with um, academic uh, time and not meeting up with people sometimes, not making plans with friends and then because 
because uh, the academic pressure is just there. So yeah, most times will be yeah. Um, currently, I just yeah just uh, before I finished my undergraduate, I applied to do a postgraduate diploma in media management. So I'm currently busy doing my uh, the, the postgrad diploma, and yeah, hopefully it would lead me to something something great. I haven't figured it out exactly where it could lead me, but. When I read up on it and I saw what it offers, I was really intrigued. So yeah, I'm just writing it out and seeing where it leads. Um, the advice I could give to undergrads is to be first and foremost, do not forget why you came to this university. While there are many great things that could contribute to building you as a professional and as a person, but then if at the base you remember why you came to this university then you will stay on track on your mission and eventually graduate no matter how long that takes you.